this is take 100. Not really, but it is definitely, I don't know what number this is. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, I have two gym bags that I use primarily right now. I do have others, but these are the two that I use the most. I use this one when I drive to the gym. I got this gym bag from DSW downtown years ago. I don't even think they still have it. I think it's made by Madden Girl though. So yeah, I have this. It's a pretty decent duffel bag. I usually use this when I drive to the gym though. I do not walk to the gym with this one. This gym bag I use when I walk to the gym. It has a shoe compartment right here, which I have a pair of my shoes in there right now. <laughs> And it's more like a backpack. So I use this when I walk to the gym so that I'm comfortable. If it's cold, I can have my hands in my pocket because I don't like to be cold. What do I keep in my gym bag? Since this is the gym bag that I've been using primarily, this is where all my stuff is. In this gym bag, I always have my foam roller. I use this to warm up, I use this to cool down. I got this one from Five Below. Obviously you can get it off Amazon as well, but they're a little more expensive on Amazon. I got this one from Five Below for $5. They had it in three other colors. No, two other colors. They had it in this color, they had it in blue, and they had it in black. I decided to get this color because I knew that if I saw this, someone else with this one, more than likely it was mine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my name on this now that I think about it. So this is, major staple it's always in one of my gym bags i have multiple foam rollers but this is the one that i use primarily at the moment i also always have my sneakers as you saw in my other gym bag these are the ones that i used yesterday when i was at the gym i alternate sneakers pretty often because it depends on what my lift is uh, lately i've been doing a three-day split a full body so because of that, I can pretty much get away with wearing trainers every time I go to the gym. And the type of cardio I do usually doesn't consist of running. So yeah, I usually have a pair of trainers or cross trainers. Towel. I always have a mini towel. Ever since I was younger, I always carried a mini towel. I would have one whenever I went to games basketball games because I play basketball if you did not know fun fact about me I also used to swim and I always had a towel obviously because water is wet yeah, I always have a towel because I don't like sweat I don't like it to get in my ears I don't like it to get in my eyes I don't generally sweat very hard but I sweat enough for me to notice especially when it's hot the harder months for sure also which is not in my bag the harder months I usually have a change of shirt like a shirt for me to put on to when I leave the gym because it's hotter so I usually sweat a little more um, so I have one of those in my bag as well but I don't have one in this bag because it's still cold outside so I don't necessarily need to change I just put on my sweatshirt and leave the gym and go home also tripod I always have a tripod do I always use the tripod no I don't always use a tripod this tripod I got off of Amazon because that's my favorite place in the world, clearly. I got this, actually, speaking of Amazon, I also got my my other gym bag, the one that I walked to the gym, and then the one that's like a book bag. I got that off Amazon as well. I don't know if they still sell it. I got it years ago, and it's still in pretty good condition. Uh, but this tripod, I got off of Amazon. I think it was $8, and it's really good. It's a really good, it extends super long too. At least four feet. I think it's four or six feet, something like that. Do I always use it at that extent? I've actually never used it that long. Nevertheless, I do have this tripod so that I can record my workout videos. But recently I started streaming on Twitch, another shameless plug, follow me on Twitch. I will put the link in the description below. Yeah, so I use this to set up the tripod and I stream right with it. Or I can just pop my phone up somewhere. I don't necessarily always use the tripod, but it's always in my bag. Obviously, I always have my wallet. Black girl magic. Another couple of things in my inside pockets. I always have 
a mini deodorant because I don't like bad smells. So I like to make sure that I smell good. This is each and every aluminum free deodorant, which I absolutely love and live by nowadays. I have this intimate body spray, which is like you just spray it over you if you want something other than a stale smell. I have lotion because I don't like to be ashy. And I also don't like the feeling that you have after you wash your hands when your, your hands feel dry, so I always keep lotion. This actually came in handy for one of the people at the gym the other day because he had the same problem and I let him use my lotion. I always have hair ties because I have really long locks if you can't tell from this video. And sometimes my hair gets in my way and it gets on my nerves. I've clipped onto my bag hand sanitizer. This bottle I just refill with <laughs> with other hand sanitizer. I never change the bottle. I just always just refill it. I always keep hand sanitizer on deck because germs are real. I always have a mask because of the times that we live in. This mask is an Under Armour mask. It's a sports performance mask. So it's actually pretty breathable. It has the thing, you know, the little nose thing so that you can fit it around your nose. It's good, it's sweat wicking, so it's good. I think I got it from, I definitely know I got it from Under Armour, the store, and it was two for 40 and one for 30, but it's a good investment. If you are at a gym and you want to be able to breathe while you're in the gym. I also have gloves, lifting gloves. These particular lifting gloves, I have two pairs of these, the two exact same pair. I don't know where the other pair is. It's somewhere in my house. So I had to order another pair of these. I got these from Amazon. I absolutely love these gloves. They are so comfortable, easy to slip on, slip off. They keep me from getting calluses. These are good. If I can find the link, I'll link it in the description below. Side note, none of this is sponsored. I just wanna be a help to you. Another thing I always have are mini bands. These mini bands are from a black owned company called Athlete. I usually use these to warm up. I use these if I want to add extra resistance to certain exercises that I'm doing. Generally, I, I use these a lot more when I'm at home working out, but I do always bring them with me to the gym because sometimes you never know, you just might need them. I have another pair of mini bands in here as well, but these are the rubber ones. I don't usually use these, but they never leave my bag for some reason. They're pretty good. I won't say that they're not. They're good for what they are. They roll, which irritates me, and when they roll, they pop. They either pop against your skin or they break. But I got these, I think, for like $4.99 or $7.99 from Marshalls. I've had them for years, and only one of them has popped, but... I don't use them very often, but they're good to have. Oh, there's a purple one in here too, huh? Oh, this is the one that popped. I keep a snack, some type of snack, because I may be extremely hungry after I leave the gym, or I may not be hungry at all, but to avoid paying for food every time I leave the house, I carry snacks all the time. I carry snacks in my purses, because you just never know. And lastly, I have a fanny pack. <laughs> I don't carry my gym, my big gym bag around the gym, but I do carry my fanny pack around the gym. Uh, just keep it around my waist, or if I'm doing a movement or some type of exercise, I take it off if it's gonna be in the way. This particular bag I actually just got from Amazon. It was like $17, really good. It, it serves its purpose. In here, I always have a snack for me to have on the floor while I'm working out because I, don't always eat enough, and if I don't eat enough, then I get lightheaded or I get really tired very quickly. In order for me to get through my workout, I make sure that I have something that I can munch on as I go through my workout. I also have sports beans. These are like a, a, a energy kind of thing. I don't eat them often, but I do eat them. They're pretty good for what they are. It's, it's caffeine. They are just jelly beans that give you like an even keeled type energy. It's not like the jittery feeling that you get from pre-workout. I do sometimes have pre-workout, but for the most part, I just drink black coffee because black coffee just gives me a nice even boost of energy without the jitteries and I, I don't like that feeling. So 
But if I do have a pre-workout, I do drink rain. Rain is phenomenal. It's natural energy, so you don't have to worry about itching and all that feel, you know, tingling and all that. And in the front pocket, I have my AirPods. Going to the gym and not having these with me really makes me upset, but it happens. But luckily the gym that I go to, one of the gyms that I go to because I go to two, one of the gyms that I go to has really good playlists. The other one, not so much. So when I go to that gym and I don't have my AirPods, tragedy. And I always have something for my lips because nobody wants chapped lips, nobody. I don't carry my water in my gym bag unless this is not full because this is the water jug that I bring with me to the gym every time I go to the gym. I get a million questions about this, ju this jug whenever I am in the gym. People come up to me and they say, hey, I really like your water jug. Where did you get it from? And I can never give them a straight answer because this was actually a gift. My sister-in-law bought it for me. I'm guessing that she got it from hydromate.com because that's what's on the bottle. I don't know. However, I have seen similar bottles to this on Amazon because I'm always on Amazon. However, I have seen something very similar to this on Amazon and they're not super expensive. I'm pretty sure this one was a little more expensive because of the design and also because of whoever made it. But if you wanted one, you can find it on Amazon. Like I always keep this filled and I drink this. And by the time I'm out of the gym, I'm probably, if it's full, by the time I'm out of the gym, I'm probably right here. So I drink a lot of water in the gym. So that's why I don't carry water bottles in the gym. I just carry this jug with me into the gym. Those are all the necessities, all the things that I need to have. I don't ever like to go to the gym without them. I hope that if you weren't sure about what you should bring to the gym, or if you were looking for certain things that you needed for the gym, that I was of some help. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. And I'll be back soon with another good and informative video.